Hi right, guys, this is going to be a quick, a very quick brief overview of the Oryx Pro from System76. I received my Oryx yesterday after about two weeks uh, waiting for it to come from uh, the United States to me here in Valencia in Spain. Uh, I arrived back from a trip to the UK yesterday and it had just arrived. I had to pay an extra uh, 348 euros uh, tax on top of this so brought my total for the machine at around two thousand dollars which is a lot of money but when I looked at the alternatives that were available for me to buy either here in Spain or in the UK um, which would have been bundled with Windows and no Linux support I, I saw this as still a, a decent deal I went for the standard uh, Oryx Pro, the 15 inch Oryx Pro with the uh, matte IPS uh, display, uh, not the 4K one, just the standard uh, 1080p matte display with 16 gigs of RAM and the 120 gig M2 SSD. Um, I've already installed my, I have a 500 gig two and a half inch SSD Samsung 850, which I've put into the machine. Uh, I have another one of those to go in, which I'm gonna take from another machine. I'll do that at a later date. Um, and I've just ordered another 16 gigs, two eight gig SIMs on Amazon to put into the machine probably later next week. So I'll have a total of 32 gigs. Um, it's, I like the, the build quality is, seems to be pretty sturdy. Um, the only thing I don't like is it's a definite fingerprint magnet, as you can see already. I mean, it doesn't matter what's on your hands, you're gonna get prints all over. I love the build quality, as I said. It's a lot more sturdier than other um, Clevo laptops that I've seen. As you can see, there's not, you see in the, the camera, it's not too bad in terms of its uh, rigidity on there. And you've got a nice sort of brushed aluminum aluminium uh, top here which has got a, a embossed 76 system 76 logo on the on the back so that's a nice touch I like that um, I've ordered laptops in the past from a UK company called PC specialist which do this this very same uh, um, Clevo they have theirs unbranded not much done to it in terms of any BIOS updates or anything like that um, but it is unbranded and they actually have the 6 gig uh, 970M option, which is a shame that System76 don't provide that option. You either have the 3 gig 970, which is what I've opted for here, or you go up to the 980 with the 8 gig uh, card, which is actually a slightly thicker chassis from what I've read um, and a bit heavier. So I wanted to keep it as light and as portable as possible. It is um, around two and a half um, kilos, kilograms. On the weight I'll just turn the machine over so you can see the back and that's the back of the machine very basic you've got a couple of screws down the edges here and uh, to the front I've actually take I've got some screenshots of the internal when I opened it and put in my Samsung drive so I'll put that in the video as well so you can see what the internals are like um, so that's the back of the machine uh, to the right hand side you have uh, Kensington security lock, a Ethernet jack, two USB 3 ports and there is actually a SIM card slot here, um, LTE SIM card slot which on the internals the second MM2 uh, opts as a LTE, it says LTE slash MM2 so I don't know how that works, I think there might be some sort of card you would install to get that uh, SIM slot to activate but that's a nice feature uh, if it can be used and then you have your standard combo SD card slot there headphone jack microphone jack and what's that port there not too sure what that is maybe that's just some sort of um, is that an extra 3D surround port or speed if I'm not sure um, so you've got three audio jacks on that side on the other side you have You've got 
uh, the exhaust uh, fan outlet there, so heat coming out to that side on that side of the machine. HDMI, which I'm going to assume is 1.4 uh, as opposed to 2, unfortunately. Um, USB 3 and two mini display ports. I've already connected uh, two of my three triple monitor setups to this. Display works nicely. I managed to get it with the working with the lid down because I wanted to be able to use this machine um, just as a dock, if you, if you see what I mean. I just want to be able to place the machine somewhere, close the lid and use my free displays. So I'm interested to see my next step is to um, connect up both the display ports and the HDMI port to see if I can get all three displays working with the lid closed and with a keyboard and mouse. I've actually bought um, a docking station and an external USB dock to see how that's going to work, see if I can get all three machines working on that. But anyway, that's the view of the machine physically. Nice thing, it does open with one hand, so you don't need to hold the base of the machine down while opening it. Um, I'm going to switch on, I'm going to boot into the, the BIOS firstly, because um did have someone on Google Plus was concerned about the switching of uh, between discrete graphics and the dedicated GPU on here. So I'm going to do that first, hit the power button, and hold down F2 I think it is. Now I've not used the machine yet really other than set up a user account on the installed uh, Ubuntu um, 1510 that's on here. Uh, obviously since shipping 1604 is now available. Uh, I actually might install uh, Ubuntu GNOME on here instead. So I go through the BIOS settings here. You can see uh, port zero is the standard SSD M2 card 120 gig that I ordered as default. Further down, you can see my uh, 500 gig uh, Samsung that I've installed. Um, you've got the standard settings here. There's SATA and NMV, NVMe controller configurations. You can see the build of the machine there as well. And at the bottom, you can see the GTX 970 card. Now, if you go into advanced and where it says advanced chipset control, hit enter, you can see here you have the MS hybrid or discrete switch. So clicking on this, you can switch between the two. I've not tried this out yet. I'm not gonna try it out just yet. Um, I wanna make sure that everything is actually working on the machine before I start you know, messing about with it too much. But uh, just for someone on the Google Plus forum on 76, System76 uh, Google Plus who uh, wanted to get some more information on that, but it's there so you, that it is built into the BIOS. Not too sure how well it works. I've not had a chance to try it yet, but that was just for you guys on there to see that. Um, yeah, a BIOS settings, just, you know, your, your bog standard sort of stuff, basically. You can switch off UEFI, um, secure boot, etc etc so it's just you know there's nothing uh, untoward there pretty much everything that you'd expect to see so I'm just gonna boot the machine so about the shaky camera I'm trying to hold this and do this at the same time I'm filming it on my uh, Samsung S7 And there you have it. Um, yeah, that's it. I mean, so far, I've, as I said, I just got the machine yesterday. Um, not had a chance to really do anything on it as such. So as you see, it is as it as it has come. I've not had a chance to do anything. Um, really sturdy. Quite happy with it so far. Obviously, you know, as the weeks go on, I'll know more uh, about any shortcomings or shortfalls or pluses that I've not discovered yet. But it's a quick video, as I said, just showing you the Oryx Pro from System76.